signs and wonders crusade. Each other crusade, total freedom, great miracle explosion, and uh, supernatural liberation. We need to praise him. We need to adore him. We need to worship him. The Lord has done great things. We, the Lord has done marvelous things. Let's praise our God. Let's exalt the name of our God. Anywhere you are, lift up your voice. Join the people of God to appreciate him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shout a global amen. Wherever you are, join us now. We are praising the Lord. This moment, we want to bless God for his move. In Psalm 126, verse 3, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. The Lord has done great things, and we are glad. And if you are glad, lift up your voice. If you are glad, appreciate him. If you are glad, join the congregation of the Lord. The Lord has given soundness to the lame. The lame has walked. The deaf and dumb, they have heard and spoke. And also, the sick have been healed of their various sicknesses. Not only that, sinners were saved and people that had infirmities, they have been uh, healed. People that had reproaches had been removed. And you are a living witness. They have testified with joy and tears of joy. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to praise God for his love. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4, it says, But God who is rich in, his, in mercy for his great love, where we he love us. Brethren, God is love. This is nothing but the manifestation of love. No wonder the songwriter said, Oh, the love that sought me. All the love that will not let me go. All the love that drew salvation plan. God is love. Lift up your voice. You have seen the love of God in your life, the love of God in your family, the love of God in your church, the love of God in your local assembly, and we have seen it globally. Testimonies are coming from everywhere. It is the love of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout a better amen. Join us to shout amen. Now we want to praise God for the salvation of souls. In Psalm 103, verses 1 and 3, all give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? All thy iniquities. Since this program started, thousands of souls have come to know the Lord in alpha locations, in distant locations, in all places. God has saved souls. We have had testimonies. Prodigal sons have testified. Prodigal daughters have come back home. They have testified of the salvation of God. And we need to praise him. We need to worship him. The children are saved. The youth are saved. The old people are saved. All are sundry. They have been forgiven. Let's praise and worship the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to praise God for his miracles upon all and sundry. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 16, it says, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, and them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprang up. We can see the great things the Lord has done. The hope that has come back to people that have lost hope, people that were in the shadow of death, the Lord had visited them. The Lord had done great things. No wonder the psalmist said, who redeemed thy life from destruction? Have you not had people that have even passed on? The Lord brought them back to life. People that were hopeless and helpless. The 
the Lord brought them back to hope. And they are living today. Let's worship this God. Let's appreciate this God for his kindness and tender mercies. My brother, my sister, anywhere you are right now, whether you are listening online or you are in your district or you are in your nation or at the alpha location, everybody lift up your voice and appreciate the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to praise God for provision and help for the people. Yes, in Psalm 103, verse 5, who satisfied thy mouth with good things? The Lord is good, and he is our great provider. He is our great supplier. He supplied to individuals, he supplied to families, he supplied to the church, and God has been our help. In Psalm 46, verse 1, God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. The Lord is our help in trouble. And that's why, if not for the Lord, we would have been swallowed up of the enemy. But because the Lord is on our side, he is on our side. Lift up your voice and appreciate this God. Appreciate him. Worship him. Bless him. Give him thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to praise God for our Father in the Lord, whom the Lord has given the vision of global crusade. And since the Lord has been using this man of God, things have not remained the same. In individual lives, things have not remained the same. In families, things have not remained the same. In our churches, things have not remained the same. Globally, we want to praise God for him. We want to thank God for his sufficient grace, marvelous grace, matchless grace, and the anointing the Lord has bestowed upon him. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to praise God and appreciate him for answers to prayers. Because the Bible said, before we call, he has answered. And while we are speaking, he has heard us. And so let us lift up our voice right now and appreciate God because he has answered your prayer, he has answered my prayer, he has answered our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise for the great things you have done and you will do. Even in the full redemption to say tonight, we are sure of your move. We are appreciating in advance. We are thanking in advance. Lord, we give you the glory. Receive all the honor. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 